And a 15 year old Chicago girl is dead tonight after a fight at a South Side apartment complex. Dekayla Dansbury was killed during an argument among girls. Tonight, friends and family gathered for an emotional memorial for the teenager. Now there is a plea to all teenagers to not only stop the violence, but to stop posting fights on social media. CBS 2's Derek Blakely reports. On a sunny Sunday when they'd normally be at home, students descend on Johnson College Prep, exchanging hugs and bearing balloons, mourning the murder of 15-year-old freshman Dekayla Dansbury. I was real close to her, like just to uh, know her for a few months, it felt like years. Dansbury was a jokester, loved to dance, and was a sprinter on the track team. She was a good teammate, like she was always happy, she kept a smile on our face, and it's just heartbreaking, like I'm just don't believe it. Dansbury was stabbed to death last night outside Parkway Gardens Apartments near 64th and King Drive. She was visiting her sister, says victims advocate Andrew Holmes, when a fight broke out among girls. Do you think a lot of this was amped up, fueled by social media? From listening and looking, uh, social media played a big part in this and uh, it, it may have led up to this and then all, alternate this young lady losing her life, but uh, you know, this didn't have to happen. Video and still pictures of the fight later posted on social media. For the ones who sitting around seeing all the fighting and, and videotaping it, instead of them stopping a the fight, they condoning it. And Dekayla's friends now absorbing painful lessons. Don't fight. Fighting is not the point. It's not worth it. The stabbing occurred on what's come to be known as O Block, the site of a long running war between two rival Southside gangs. But Dekayla's pastor said this fight involved girls who knew each other, grew up together, and it simply got out of hand. No arrests as yet. Reporting live from the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS 2 News. Jim and Mai. Derek, thank you.